returned to campus at Rodriguez High School in Fairfield, California on Monday, March 11th, on top of the usual high school drama, gossip, and rumors that circulate amongst the teenage youth, as well as the stress of that next exam that they may or may not have studied for, or that project or assignment that was due that day. They also had to deal with the news that was spreading like a midsummer wildfire in the Atlas Mountains. On Friday, March 8th, a parent of two Rodriguez students, Go Mustangs, reported concerns to Fairfield police in regards to one of their own, according to Police Chief Daniel Marshall. That same night, an investigation was launched by the Solano County District Attorney's Office, and just 10 hours later, on the morning of Saturday, March 9th, 33-year-old James Lewis was arrested and booked into Solano County Jail, standing accused of exchanging inappropriate text messages and photos with two female students under the age of 18. He was released on bond over the weekend and is currently on paid administrative leave with a court date pending for May 8th. Lewis was the school resource officer at Rodriguez High School, a position that I am unsure exists in the same capacity everywhere in the United States, much less other parts of the world. But for, for viewers that may not be aware of this, school resource officers can be contracted through the local police or sheriff's departments in the United States, who then assigns an officer to the school. This is the case for Rodriguez High School, where I myself went to school many moons ago. Chief Marshall was one, once the school resource officer himself for RHS, and was incredibly shocked and dismayed. Rodriguez students said in a, a new school resource officer was already on campus by Monday, and the feeling was described as shock and morbid. The Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District put out the following statement Monday morning. We are deeply saddened to share the news that has shaken our trust and comfort in our community. A school resource officer at Rodriguez High School has been involved in exchanging inappropriate messages with students Immediate action has been taken, with the officer now under investigation by the Solano County District Attorney's Ma Major Crimes Task Force. We understand this does not reflect the values or actions of the majority of Fairfield Police Department officers, and our children's safety is, and always will be, our utmost priority. This isn't the first instance of sexual misconduct happening on campus. If you recall last year, I brought you a story about how in 2010, Former English teacher Felicia Killings was arrested on charges of having sex with at least six male students at her Vallejo apartment. Four charges were dropped due to them being over the age of 18 at the time, while one student was 16. Killings initially pled guilty to those charges to get a reduced sentence. She only had to serve 30 days in jail, and her felony was reduced to a misdemeanor. Killings, however, would later publicly go on to proclaim her innocence, claiming that she was discriminated against, and would later go on to become a conservative author in Georgia, where she has become a mouthpiece for the local GOP. Killings completely omits any wrongdoings, including charges that she was faced with and the one that she was convicted of, only that she was devoted to her students and quit voluntarily, when in reality she was fired for getting a little too devoted. What makes these stories so personal is the fact that they both take place at where I spent my adolescent years. And in the case of Felicia Killings, it was very personal considering she was my sophomore English teacher. At the time she was arrested, one of the victims who was a minor was likely somebody that I knew or passed in the halls or the courtyards, could have had it a class with at one point. I also get angry at this woman because she has shown no accountability while out there trying to seem like a righteous conservative Christian woman when she has committed one of the most heinous abuses of power that a teacher can commit against a student, but also a sexual crime against a teenage boy. She joined the GOP and is out there spinning false information and propaganda campaigns that the GOP does. 
the vitriol against gay and trans people, despite that the real threat to children is degenerates like her. She has the audacity to try and sway black voters and women of color to the GOP, despite its massive racism and misogyny towards both. But it's all the liberal left and the gay and trans people trying to indoctrinate your kids, right? For the second time in 15 years, Rodriguez High School and its students must grapple with yet another sex scandal on campus involving a person in power and minors. With it brings up the scars of the past, while also bringing to light its own set of controversies, including the safety of its students on campus. I implore you, if you believe your child or a loved one, if you yourself or a friend have been a victim of Officer Lewis, I encourage you, I implore you to reach out to the Fairfield Police Department or the Solano County District Attorney's Office, please talk to a school counselor, a therapist, a friend, or a trusted family member. As a former alum, if I can offer any words of advice, it is that you are not alone. Your voices and stories will be heard, and we will get through this together. Together and forever, we ride on as Mustangs. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.